It's bothering you? I can't help it. I'm gonna bring something up right now. Do you understand what we're doing with this show? What? What? We talk about all the sh** that pisses us off. We are fixing the world one bone at a time. Everybody out there has got a bone to pick. And this is a bone to pick podcast. You got bones. Cheap paper towel dispensers. We got bones. Cops on scooters. I got a bone to pick with you. I have a bone to pick with you. We're gonna go nuts. Here we go. Everybody's got a bone. What's up, everybody? I'm Robert Kelly. I'm Paul Verzi. And this is a Bone Bone to Pick podcast. podcast. Thank you for being a member of the Patreon. All you you Patreon people, we really appreciate it. So go to patreon.com slash bone to pick cast. Tell a friend. And also, like me and Bobby always say, and we appreciate you doing it, go to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. It makes the show go up. And please rate and review and leave comments. Like, comment. And if you're on the Patreon, if you're not on the Patreon. What are you doing? And you watch this. Paul wants to get a new table. Yes. He wants it to be black onyx. Or marble granite. But I was thinking like a black table. Picture this, fans. Don't Listen, listen. Picture this. We got a black table, either onyx, granite, or, or, uh, or, or marble, and, and the posts are skull heads on the posts. What are you, f- uh, Stallone? <laughs> I would like to be. <laughs> Who, why would you get... What posts? Like on the, uh, the I ends. Know, you know what you want? Like a pillar. Pillars. Yeah, exactly. You, oh. You want pillars. And you yeah. know what you want? Skull pillars. You, you want a lion in front of your house. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I, would, I would like a lot. But but listen, Stacey would never allow. She doesn't like posts or pillars. I, mean, I bet you have something. No, no, I no. I bet no. you some statue somewhere. <laughs> some no. lady she would, No, no. She would never let me. But dude, what if we had, what if we had skull pillar legs we're not getting, on the desk? We're not getting, I don't even know what a skull pillar leg is. So the pillar... A leg is a leg. A pillar is a pillar. So the, the leg almost looks like pillars, and the top are skull heads. And the skull heads could be making like a like a, like a a demonic type, you know? You ever, like Harry Potter, like the Dementors? What the fuck? What are we, a goth podcast? No, no, just the, the, just the table. We have Brenda. I'm fine with Brenda. Okay. Hi, Brenda. Hi, uh, skull I'm demon. Gonna, you know what I'm going to do? No, no demons. I don't like demons. You know that. I don't do devil. I don't do devil. I don't do demons. I don't do ghosts. But I'm gonna I'm gonna Google some stuff and oh send God. it to you. And you guys you guys are gonna go. All right, Verzi, You know what? That's dope. We're getting a black table. With, with get, we just Mike. We, we just needed a regular a thin table just to put stuff on. That's yeah, all. That's fine. That's all we need is a yeah. table. Yeah. We'll work our way up to a t-shirt gun. So what about gold plated? Uh, <laughs> gold not there. What are you? Gold I, gold plated feet. For what? From the bottom of the, of the. For what? Just for night for the aesthetics of the show. Why don't we come up with our own energy drink, too? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, let's do that. Skull and bones? The bone. Bone juice? Mm. Bone juice. Bone juice. Bone, well, we could come up with our own bone marrow. Oh, my God, dude. It's endless. <laughs> He's got me going now. <laughs> you, you, you're endless. You really are endless. Listen, I'm telling you, any bo- I mean, I'm telling you right now, dude. I, I had such a hard time getting here today. I know you did. Here's the problem. I, I... I like to be. I like to have my time. I like to know I'm going to be here at this time, around there. I can be here at this time. I don't like being late, a couple minutes here and there, but I like to be on time. And, you know, you know me. I, I don't like lying about where I'm at. I never see you 20 minutes late like you were today. Are I, you, you having a day? Well, it was. It was you I was said having, cops, crane. Are you dealing with it? it but it's, here's the thing I, I go down that West Side Highway every day, four yeah. days a week. And I, I'm coming down. It, it's Wednesday. I, I know Wednesday. Yeah. Ving, zoom, zing. I'm, yeah. Sawmill, who? <laughs> Ming. And then I get to 98th Street, dead. Stop traffic. Your, your, your voice when you called me, when you were stopped on 79th, I'm not going to lie. Uh, defeat was in your voice a little bit. Well, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I called you, and you're like, it's cool. You, I, I gave myself plenty of time. I didn't have to be there. I was, I was at like 10 of. Can I say something? I'm different than you with that. Yeah, because you lie. No. <laughs> Is that what you mean? Because you lie. I'd be like, no. where are you? Dude, I'm right in front of the place. No. Uh, I hope you choke. What happened? What happened is I'm choking on that bad coffee you got because you confused the lady. <laughs> You want me to tell that? I'll, I'll tell that story before. Let me tell that story, okay? I'm on my way down here, okay? And I was nice out early. The kids had a two-hour delay. I take the kids to school. I get my kids lunch at the deli. I bring the school, and I, I'm, I'm free and clear. You know, Stacy's away for work for two days. 
And I'm all of a sudden I'm talking to Bobby and I go, I pull up to the drive thru. Oh. No, Mike, this happened today. That's why my coffee's horrible. That's why I'm still sipping it for five hours. <laughs> So I pull up and Bobby here. I said, Bobby, hold on one second, buddy. I'm on my way down. I said, but I'm just getting his coffee real quick. Hold on. He, so I keep him on speaker, window down. He goes, may I help you? I go, yeah. Can I get a medium iced coffee, black one Splenda? And Bobby goes, also, I'd like this. And he just starts saying, I make sure you get this. I have to put the window up. She was so confused. I get my coffee, no Splenda. And I was two minutes out of the drive through. So I get on the highway excited. I took a sip. The anger I had, I, I she didn't even, you confused this lady. She could barely speak English. You confused her so much. She didn't put the Splenda in. And now I have this disgusting, watered down black iced coffee because of you. Very, That's, very rarely in life do I get a to, feel, like to feel the juice of happiness. The juice of happiness, the juice of where it's inside you and it's pure joy and just excitement and funny and when i when i hear one of my friends is at a drive through and i know i'm shooting through their stupid speaker on their phone uh, and i know that person has a headset on inside and they can't see uh, they just hear uh, and i know that this person's naive enough to, to to not mute me mike calta mutes me immediately i should have as soon as he pulls up muted i'll start saying all my stuff and he goes you're on mute stupid and he uh, knows the fact that you were naive to that. I didn't know. And I go, I'd like, a, <laughs> you got I'd like a, an iced coffee. Yeah. With a, a vente iced coffee. <laughs> and I go, no, no, no. I, I, I go, no. I go, no, no, no Splenda. Did you say no Splenda? Did you say no Splenda? You piece of shit. You said no Splenda? You said no Splenda. That's why she said it? Like, <laughs> you piece. I, I heard you panicking. Sorry. I panicked and I, I panicked and I put the window up and I go, no, never mind. Just that. <laughs> Just that. Yeah, he panicked, and, and I heard it. I could hear his fingers thumbling for the thing. And you see this? You Ooh. see this little thing right here? It's oh. normally supposed to say one Splenda, but it doesn't. You know it what? says ice. What? You know what happened? What happened? I got stuck in traffic because I fucked with you. Oh. Because you're you're a fucking Italian, and you're fucking you. You're, you're, you're a fucking, karma, dude. You're Guinea fucking hex. What? You're Italian hex. I was angry at you. You did some weird shit. No, I didn't, you? but I was I thought bad. No, you I didn't did give something. you the I didn't give you the whatever they call it. The, what are they called? The, the lockers. I didn't do that, but I sipped and when I sipped and got on the highway, I got angry with you. You were mad. I go, I got a Malocchio, is that what you're talking about? I don't know you what gave it, him the Malocchio? No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh. I didn't. He's saying that he's saying, but I think karma got it. Karma got me. Karma got it. That's why I was but, in that traffic. But I just want to say to the to the but you know what, but karma karma was like, Bob, I'm gonna get you, but it was a good one. Kyle was like, it's a good one, but I got to do my job. I will say this. It was I very funny. It was very funny and could have been in a comedy movie. That's how funny it was. But the fact that you yelled no Splenda and I got <laughs> no Splenda and it ruined my, my morning. Um, but I want the fans to know this because this is the difference between me and you. When I call you and say I'm in traffic, yeah. you go like this. So you're late. So you're going to be late. What did you say? You go, Verse, dude, I, I don't know what to do, dude. I'm on 79th yeah. Street. Just traffic's not moving. I go like this. I go, buddy. I go, you got a half hour anyway. And if not, it's okay. Who cares? No worries. And you know what you said? I mm. felt the relief. I felt you go, you go, all right, dude, no worries. I go, Bobby, you get here when you get here. That's who I am. Okay. That's who I am. Can I, can I just? I don't go, you're late. What are you done? Are you done? You're done? No, yeah, you, I'm you done. You're done. I'm done. Okay, I'm just going to. I'm done. Yeah. Let me just take a sip real quick. Yeah. The reason, the reason I... I say you're late, you're late, you're late. No, so, okay, okay, go ahead. You done? No, yeah, I'm done, I'm done. Because I'm going to go now. Yeah, yeah. Okay? All right, one more thing. I, do, I don't. Okay, no, this sure, is the last no. thing I'll say. Yeah. If I call you up, you would even go as far as to do this. He would go, you're going to be late, aren't you? I know. You You do that. Great. Okay, okay go ahead. You're repeating yourself. I'm done. You're done. I'm done. You yield your time? 100%. You I yield, yield my your time. time. 100%. Okay, I'm going to take the, my time back. You're on the stand. I'm going to take my time back? Yep. Reclaiming when, his time. When I did it, yeah, I was. It was ten of twelve. I was supposed to be there at twelve thirty. Hang on, it wasn't ten of twelve. Okay, what time was it? It was twelve. I said you have twelve o'clock. Great, great. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, yep. Twelve o'clock. I said I'm, I'm. I had a half hour. Tech. I didn't have to be here till twelve thirty. I was not late. Then. At that point. No. Yes. Yes. When you call and I go, 
like you said, this is your words, not my. You gonna be late? You late? You gonna be late? You gotta be late, kid. Right, late, kid. Right, 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 kid. Right. You're you're supposed to be there twelve thirty. It's twelve thirty five. So when I say <laughs> you gotta be late, you gonna because I'm looking at my watch. <laughs> And I saw that it's 1235, <laughs> so you're late. That's why I'm saying you're going to be late because uh, you're late. Okay. You understand? If it was 12 and you had to be at 1230 and you called and said, hey, I'm in a little traffic. I'm like, dude, you f I would have give you the old Verzi. That's the Verzi, I guess, right? Uh, dude, you're fine, kid. You're good. Enjoy your life. We're here. You got yeah. You got a half hour. I'll call that the Verzi. But I give you the Bob. Yeah. You're going to be late <laughs> because you were <laughs> late. No, I would do it at like twelve twenty eight. No, and I'll be there at like thirty three after. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, where are you? Because I, I know uh, you're not here, and there's only thirty eight seconds to get here before you're late. And you do it. I'm, and then you lie. This you lie. Whoa, dude, I'm around the corner, dude. I'm right here. Well, I'm right here too. Don't see you. I'm coming. <laughs> when, dude? I'm, I'm. Well, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on fifty third and and and, and whatever. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, dude, I'm right there. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I think I lost my eyesight. Why is that? Dude, why? Because well, you're not right here. Well, nah, dude, I, I'm on, I'm on, the, I'm on, I'm on the, the corner. I'm on the FDR. I just turned off the. That's not here. That's a 20 minute shot. Sometimes from the FDR. Okay, I'll give you this though. Or you have to give me this. I should say. I'll when take you, it. You, you walked in at 12. You walked in at 12:47. Mm -hmm. Yep. What did I, What did I do? First thing I did. What did I do? Bobby, hand high five. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't give you <laughs> shit. All right. <laughs> All right. I did not think you were I didn't think you were going Beastie Boys on me. What I do? I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. High five, my fuck motherfucker. Right, no cursing. Oh, no, no cursing. cursing. No, cursing. No, cursing. Right. Uh, no we're no cursing. All right. Uh, bone? Do we have bone? Bone one. Let's get into the show, shall we? This yeah. is the part of the show, if you're new to watching us, where we do our bones. Everybody in the world has a bone to pick. Every day there's bones to pick. Things that piss you off. Things that make you mad. People, places, and things you just want to flip out. But the show, we talk about them. We do our bones. And later in the show, we're going to be doing your bones. So if you have a bone, you can send it to bone to pick cast at gmail.com or join our Patreon at patreon.com uh, slash bone to pick cast. cast. And you can, we'll read your bones live on the air. And video bones, if you have a video camera, turn your phone, take a little, those go right to the top. So right now, let's get to the it's, bone. It's therapeutic. It's, I mean, we're saving the world. All right, my bone is first. One bone one, at a time. 1,000%. I mean, this thing is like a. Um, it's a weapon. <laughs> this thing, dude. Uh, okay, That's, here's my bone. Come in one day, it's Joe Matarese's thigh bone. My, <laughs> my, uh, <laughs> my bone uh, on this episode, everybody, is very simple, and it's something that happened to me uh, recently. Uh, my bone is when somebody calls you. You don't answer. Then they call you again quickly. You don't answer. And then they text you something like, how the f*** are you ignoring me and not calling me? Um, I was actually had this happen. It's crazy. I decided. I don't, I don't like this. What? I just don't what? like it. So I decided. I like don't <laughs> like your energy. I like the way you Indian twist in the bone. Can I say that? Are we going to get flagged for that? I think we're all right. I think you guys say crisscross an apple. So whatever it is. Um, so uh, Martin Luther King Day. Uh, I got the great people at BetMGM hooked me up and some of my, uh, my, my family and some uh, dear friends of ours to go to Madison Square Garden to see the Knicks Magic game. Get there early, early access, shoot around, have a great time. Now, I'm sitting in the stance and I'm ready to watch the game. They're doing festivities. They, they're doing the anthem. They got little fireworks going off of the Jumbotron. And kids are excited. They're throwing T-shirts. And I get my phone buzzer. Zit, zit. <laughs> zit, zit. Right? Zit, zit. Sitting there. My son's next to me. Zit, zit. I look. Oh, my friend. It's my friend, Bob. Yeah. Oh, my friend, Bob. Okay. I, I can't right now. They're, they're, they're singing Why? the national anthem. Oh. Because they're singing the national anthem at the garden. That's why. <laughs> They're singing the national anthem. They got fireworks. They're going. My kids going. Daddy, look at the lights. That's why. Okay. Pause. Okay. So then, maybe I don't know. Eight minutes <laughs> later, maybe eight. I don't know. Maybe six. Maybe six. I. Zit, 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 zit. 
Okay, who's it? Oh my God, it's my friend Bob again. <laughs> Holy shit! I hope it's not. I don't know what's going on, but hold on. And then and the rock. Is <laughs> no, 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 no. What? The thing isn't that long. <laughs> this not song is six minutes long. No, I think the second time it was going. Yeah, the, the second one? No, no, no. The second time you called, I think that might have been going. Okay. We settle in our seats. Yeah. We get down. We're looking. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Madison Square Garden where the New York Knicks take on the Orlando Magic. Whole thing. Whole spectacle. Then I get another quickly, maybe a minute. <laughs> Who the f*** doesn't answer their phone at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday? Then I said... Buddy, at MSG with the family, I'll call you later. I mean, can you just know that I, if you need something, text me the emergency, then I'll call. But you don't do it three times in a row, you <laughs> lunatic. That's my boss. Stop doing it. If somebody doesn't answer, and they love you. I love you. <laughs> they love you. If it was my dad. If it was my dad. Nope. Not now, dad. If it was my mom. Zit, zit. You okay? Everything good? Fine? No hospital? Zit, zit. So... My bone is uh, if you call somebody that you love them and I they mean, love you is, and they uh, don't answer, just this, just know this that is something's a, this going is, on. First of all, this is a personal bone. This is well, you're not the only one who does it. Yeah, but I'm the one who just did it. You just did it. You do it a lot. I wait a second. Here's the thing, Verzi, because we have the same life. Stop. We have the same life. You have kids. I have kids. You have a house, I have a house. Here's you have I a call, wife, hold on. I have a wife. Hold on, my You're, bone, hold on, my bone. If I call <laughs> you and you don't answer, the chances of me calling again within four minutes, my house is on fire and you live in Westchester, I need help. That's it. That's it. Okay, I would call you. I guess Bobby and his family are out on this Sunday. But it's three o'clock <laughs> on a Sunday. Oh no, it was actually it was Martin Luther King Monday. Whatever, a Martin Luther King. What, what could you be doing on Monday. I'll tell you what I was doing. I was at a great <laughs> gathering in New York City with a bunch of New York Knicks fans at the Garden. But you can't answer your phone? What am I going to do? Hey, How about God. this? How about this? After the first phone call, you go like this. Busy, call you as soon as I can. You know, I know I'll say did. one thing. I'll say one thing. I'll say one thing. <laughs> they may, they, they, Apple <laughs> have solved this problem. Do you have an iPhone? I do. Do you have an iPhone? I do. A new one? 14. Okay, that's new enough. Yeah. Apple has solved this problem for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. When the ghost, zit, 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 yep. And you look at it, right? Yeah, yeah. What does it say? Incoming call, Bobby Kelly. Right. Yeah. Call me. You got your phone? Yeah. Call me right now. Just call me. Good, call me. Okay. Good, I'm, at, I'm you. I'm at the thing. Ah, look at that. When no, I... no, 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 dude. It's loud in there. Ah, great, great. <laughs> I love America. <laughs> In Trump 2024, <laughs> Baba. Fuck, I hope, I hope, I hope that Indian dude's his VP, dude. He gave a great speech last night. Dude. I like that kid. Did you hear that guy? Fuck, I don't care if he's, I mean, he's a little Is brown right? for oh, me. Oh, shit, I called Stacy. He's a little brown for me. But, uh, you know. I just I called mean, Stacy, dude. Maybe they can do that stuff with the Michael Jackson on that guy. What? Oh, here. I go, who's this? All right, there we go. Oh, what does it say? Message, voicemail, slide to answer. I'm not going to answer. I'm going to leave a message. Click, call you back. Bang, done. I did that. I texted that. No, you didn't. Oh, no, my wife. No, you didn't. You didn't. Uh, it says on there, message. Vo you could say voicemail, message. Hit message. It comes up. Boom. Okay. Busy. Call, call later. Can't talk right now. Can I tell it you? It gives you. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, whoa. You brought me. I got my, my, my. You got me heated now. <laughs> I know <laughs> that you are available. No. Rap. I was You're not. a stand-up fucking I was not available. You're not available from 7 to 11 on Fridays and Saturdays nights, sometimes Wednesdays and Tuesdays. On a Monday <laughs> at 3 in the afternoon, you're available. You're not at a funeral. You're not at a job. You're at a fucking leisurely outing. Fuck you. Uh, you could have fucking at least on the first time I'm busy, call you back later, and I'm out. But I know, <laughs> no. you're nothing, I know. No, you're, you know what it is? Eh? It's you, it's you, you. You, you can't handle, I'm gonna tell you, there are certain you people. You can't handle <laughs> the truth. <laughs> there are certain people that when they call and there's no answer, they don't it's like it. That. They don't it's like it, so that. they need another one. It's, 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 <laughs> you, you call, I know it's three in the afternoon. <laughs> It's a holiday. You're doing what I'm doing in some variation of it. Answer the phone. You weren't at a the Madison Square. My favorite place leisure, on earth. It's my favorite leisure, place on earth. Leisure. Leisure. You weren't there helping 
fucking cancer, kids. You were having a hot dog and a fucking brewski. You suck. I'm watching a shit team not win. Hey. Hey, they, they, they lost. lost. Of course they lost. Uh, I'm just saying, hit the button. All right, well, that's... Hit the button! <laughs> It's, it's, if I would have read, boom. if I would have red buttoned you, forget it. Don't red button me. You if, fucking red if I red button you, red you would have ruined a nick game. I didn't say red button me. I said message button. Call you later. Can't talk now. Custom. I Bobby and Met game. Call you back with fam. You know what iPhone needs to do? Here's a, here's a fix on this bone. iPhone needs to come up with something when you're in a loud environment and you can't do it. Something needs to come up where all you do is hit a button and it automatically sends a message saying can't talk right now. Oh. I'm, Oh my God, you're dumb. Why? I just, they no, did No, they it. don't. No, no, I mean on the thing. Hip stuff. I mean on it the screen. It comes on. No. Call me. Call me. No. Call me. No, no. no Call no. me. I'm Call talking me. about an automated text. An automated text does not come on. I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose okay, my Okay, eyesight. okay, okay. Call me. Okay. Call okay. me. Okay. Okay. Call me. You, uh, Call I'm me. calling you now. Look. <laughs> Look what it says. Call. Call. Yeah. Message. Bang. Message. Watch. Watch. Message. Can't. Look it. Look at sorry, can't talk right now. Oh, I didn't what does it say on your phone? What does it say on your phone? Read it to the people. It's just sorry. Look at the eyes of the people. <laughs> it's just sorry, can't talk. I didn't know. They thought of it. Okay. That's all I'm asking. I, it would be nice if it came like right your off. Your bone is gang. <laughs> no, you, solved. You, you know, but you still don't call twice. You still go. They'll call me later. I mean, Answer, you still could have. Don't call twice. Answer once. Why? Why'd you call the? Okay, let me hold on now. Now, now I'm not happy. <laughs> now I'm not. Happy. Here's what I, I have one question. Then I'm gonna. I know Mike, and I I, I know. <laughs> Why'd you call four minutes later? Why'd you call four minutes later? Because I knew you were doing nothing. Take your bone. That's my bone. It's your bone. <laughs> your bone. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with your own bone. <laughs> right. It's a lone bone. <laughs> that's a, that's uh, a new one. <laughs> uh, a lone bone? Oh, that's a good one. That was a personal bone. A, a person? No. You that just were the, you were the person. That was personal. That was personal. <laughs> the guy you had the bone with is in the room with you. A foot away. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, real quick, wanted to interrupt the show. Uh, one of my favorite new sponsors. I've been, I'm a fan. Stop wasting your time with other t shirts that never fit quite right. Get True Classics. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing True Classics underwear. I'm wearing True Classic shirts. I wear True Classic jeans. I'm not kidding. It's the best fitting t shirt out there. They have ridiculously comfortable essentials with a great fit. With True Classics athletic wear, I have the sweat, I have the tees, I have the jeans. I told you I have it all. I have the hat. All right, prepare. They prepare for anything from day to gym, day to day gym stuff, from, from fancy night out. I love True Classics so much. I threw all my t-shirts out, and this is a fact. I'm not saying this because they're a sponsor. I've been wearing two True Classics for over a year now. I threw, when I lost the weight, I love them because they're tight up top and they're a little loose down here. Most t-shirts stink. You wash them once and they're done. You gotta throw them out, okay? These things fit so, the only reason why I throw them out is because I get stains on them. I'll drip stuff because I'm a slob. Other than that, I have True Classic everything. True Classic jeans, True Classic underwear. When I wear these underwear, I swear to God, I can't, I tell my, my wife flips out about me. It's like you're wearing nothing, but they're so soft, silky, they don't bunch up on you. True Classics, while you're updating your wardrobe, don't forget about your outerwear. Whether you're a bomber jacket kind of guy or you love cashmere sweaters, True Classics has what you need. The new sweater I got from them, it's the softest thing I've ever put on my body. I slept in it the other night with no underwear on. It was weird. And my wife freaked out. But it felt so good. I'm telling you. So if you're ready to update your closet, shop now with our exclusive link. These guys are with us now. I'm so happy. The guy, Ryan, he is such a great guy. He's created such a great clothing line, underwear, t-shirts. He's changing the game and comfortability with clothes on every part of your body. So trueclassics.com slash bone. You save 25% with your first order. Make 2024, your most stylish year yet with true classics. And now we're back to the show. All right. All right. I'm going to lighten up the mood here. Ooh, okay. I'm going to come in with my bone. Oh, you don't seem angry with this bone. I, it, it's not a bone that makes me angry. It's a confusing bone to me. Ooh, Confucius I just, bone. I, I, just, I just don't want it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I got to make sure I say this correctly. Bone two. My bone is this. 
If you're not gay, if you don't like men, what? If you don't sleep with dudes, if you don't, you know, like it in the Tukish. Don't act gay. <laughs> My bone is guys that are gay and act gay and are flamboyant, but aren't gay. Well, then they're not gay. You can't act it. You can't be like, hey, what's going on? How are you? Nice to see you. Dude, are you gay? No, I'm married. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, wait a minute. You're not. No, I'm not. You're talking about a feminine dude. I'm talking about guys who sing their sentences. And, hey, Robert, how are you? Oh, my God. This guy. Oh, my God. Dude, you like you like guys? No, yuck. <laughs> you can't do it. You gotta stop. You gotta either be gay or not be gay. That is the question. I'm just saying. Look at man. Yeah. I don't uh, gay guy. I love gay guys. We're gay friendly at this podcast. Love them, gay guys. Come on, love them, gay bones. Yeah. Whatever, man. It's just this. There's these guys out there. Yeah. And you know a couple of. We all. We all know who they are. I, I thought, we all know the one you're talking about. We know one of them. <laughs> I know a couple of them. Yeah, but do you think that they don't know they're gay yet? At forty. Are they in the, like for somebody to talk like, "Hey guys, love the show." It's so funny. You're such an Italian what? man. You can't even do a gay. You be the only. You can't yeah, do a gay guy voice. You can only do a little kid voice. No, I can't. I can. Your gay guy voice is. Hi, can I have some candy? <laughs> Hi, my name's Joshua, and I drive a little candy. Ah! Yeah, that's almost disturbing. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? Yeah, I can. Bobby, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, retarded gay guy. Bobby, stop it! Bobby, I like your penis and my bum bum, and uh, then we have a food fight with our mom. Oh moms. shit! Hello, Bobby. No, um, sorry. I know what you. Mean. Wait, a what fight? A food fight with our mom. Jesus. I'm sorry. Well, here's here's the thing. I've seen that before, and it, it's funny when you say. What's crazy is when they talk about women in like a way of like they're like, dude, you see that. The, you know the ass on her. You went like you're like going like, are you sure? They don't say that you're going like, are you sure? No, dude. Some of them are like, nah, some I know one guy that goes like, like not I, like that. They do it with the accent. It's the gay accent. Yeah, it's the gay accent that throws it off. Hey, how are you? What's going on? All right, yeah, I'm gonna be on stairs. All right, see you a little bit. Uh huh. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Is he gay? And you're like, no, he's not gay. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, dude. You get no, no, I'm not gay. Yucky, ooey. Here's my wife. Oh. Yeah, uh, dude. No, listen, some of them have wives. I don't, and these women have got to go. I mean, you're fucking nuts. I mean, what? what they right? have nuts, is what you meant. To well, say. no, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. The women know. The women in their life know. Know what? Yeah, but but here's Every, the thing. It's a fucking enigma wrapped in a puzzle, wrapped in a fucking Turkish twist. Okay. Because wrapped in a cardigan. <laughs> Why Turkish? Wrapped in a mock turtleneck with slip-ons <laughs> and a Louis Vuitton crossbody. Listen, I find it weird thing. with the women. Here's the thing with these guys. I've talked to a couple of them. I know a lot of them. Give me oh, a name. No, I'm kidding. I'll give. No, don't. Can I? Don't, 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 don't. No, I'm not. I'm look. I'm not. Do you not, not know who he's talking? You don't know who any of these people are. I know. I I know two. Just beep it. All right. Go no, ahead. I know. Let <laughs> uh, me make a well, note. He's ma isn't he married? Or no? Yep. Yes. <laughs> There's not. He's not the only one. There's other comedians but that are like this. Hey, Robert, how are you? And I'm like, yeah, dude, you gay? No, I have a girlfriend. I'm like. Dude, listen, man. I can't do this. I, I can't. I'm too old. I don't have. I can't. I don't. I don't what hate. What are you gonna any, do? Call my head, dude. Can you stop I don't, this? Can I don't you stop hate this? anybody. I love everybody. Of course. But I can't be. I can't have puzzles. I can't have riddles. Yeah. What about? I, now you had a caveat up top. Why? What about a straight guy who likes butt stuff? God bless you. Okay, good. Straight guy likes butt stuff. You're looking at one. <laughs> and now you're looking at two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I don't.
Quit that. Of course you do. Stay away from my phone. Nobody, you're Italian. You're, what? I know. You're Greek Italian. <laughs> one half of you is dying for it. The other half is bitching you out of it. Hey, you're fucking, <laughs> one you're half fun. of you invented it. Hey, you're fun <laughs> Come on. I just want to get it. Come on. We'll stick it in my ass and have some baklava. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's queer, dude. <laughs> don't you think the woman, though, don't you think the woman, like, doesn't there, isn't there something about a woman that wants a man? Like, yeah, listen. Yeah, a lesbian. Part of that, yeah, yeah, but part of that is, like, protection, right? Like, when a woman, listen, when a woman's with a dude, believe it or not, no matter how much you and Dawn fight, no matter how much me and Stacey fight, you go, you walk, you're walking down a street in the city and some shit seems shady. Your wife is thinking, like, this dude's got my back and I feel protected. A guy like that, I don't, a woman's, like, that's no, weird. No, no, no. I don't think that at all. I don't think, because I know some tough gay guys. I, a guy is a guy is a guy. I don't care if you're gay or straight. I don't believe in that shit where so gay, a guy, guys, gay guys are somehow weaker than men. It's not true. But my point is A this. dude that goes, oh my God, it's raining. That, that guy's going to protect somebody? He's more sensitive emotionally. He'll bring an umbrella because he, he plans yeah, in advance because he's umbrella. smart. <laughs> With glitter on it? <laughs> yes. Who cares? But he's not going to... I mean, if a fucking guy broke into the house, he'd still fight and... Well, let's you know find, I mean? Paul, Paul, let's find out. If it was, if it was a glittery umbrella or... You're soaking wet. What do you do? Oh, dude, definitely take the glittery umbrella. Oh, okay, I'm not because okay. I'm not. I'm you're go, gonna say I'm, wet. I'm no. going wet. <laughs> I'm no, going wet. dude, I'll, I would. I would. You take a glittery. Dude, I would have a. And yeah, a glittery pink purple thing to stay dry. Yeah, I like. Dude, it. I got Jordans I like, on, dude. I like walking out. Yesterday when it snowed out, I went out. It was still snowing, rain snow out there shoveling. Oh, I loved. I came in. My wife had a towel on the floor. I took everything off down to everything, put it on the towel, went and took a shower, got all new stuff on. She was drying my shit. I love it. Men get wet. You said I'm dumb. Men That's get wet. dumb. That's stupid. Men it's get stupid. Wet. Men it's get dumb. wet, and that Men makes get... women wet. <laughs> so you this just, is a you weird... just named the, t the, the episode, <laughs> but Men this, Get Wet. This is a weird bone. This is, this is guys who are not gay who act... Have the gay or effeminate, accent. Or effeminate, okay. They have the gay accent. They're effeminate. And I've known a bunch of them my whole life, and it's like, dude, you're gay. I'm not gay. Okay, dude, but you're gay. I'm, no, I love women. But you don't, I've never been with a guy. No, I've never been with a guy. And, they, and then they're kind of, they're kind of uh, evasive, too. Like, who knows? Maybe. Oh, come on, man. I don't have time. I, my life's half over. Does this count for people, for <laughs> gay men who don't have the gay accent? Does it count for them? No. Gay really? guys who don't have the gay accent, who guys are like, hey, what's up? And you're like, hey, what's up, man? We'll go, go get some pussy. Oh, dude, I love dick. No, I'm fine with that. Shocking, yes. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> you're going to go like this. <gasps> like you jumped into cold water. No, I love cold. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's go. <clears throat> I don't know where that you don't is. You got to you flip dude. your boner into your jeans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What'd you find out? No, oh, dude. Nice. I think like the most gay. I think the most gay athletes in any sport. I I think. I mean, it's probably a numbers game because there's 53 men to a roster. But I think the NFL has the most gay dudes. Yeah, of course, dude. They're just big guys with big hogs taking testosterone and shit. <laughs> of course, if they've, they've been, it's it's almost like prison. The the NFL is like prison because they're in a thing with a certain guy and certain forever like a cell and they go there they're all the way till they're older and then they quit and they almost like re reform prisoners when they get out of the nfl <laughs> i mean they, and they go back to their life and they're not having a coach yell at them or camp or you know all that locker shit. room shit yeah, yeah dude and not a lot of whites also yeah. how it's <laughs> yeah so that means it's real gay. <laughs> real prison <laughs> it's <laughs> uh, that was a good one that was a good but one what i'm saying is dude it's just I can't. I can't. It's just listen, man. It Either is be, just say it. Because you know why I understand you on this one? Because what sucks is when that person leaves, right? Like me and you, yeah. right? Mike, do a gay accent and go, oh, all right, God. guys, I'll see you later. Like, right. just do that. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, right, buddy. Dude. Take it Lazy. easy, man. Take it easy. No, no. No, dude. Bob. What? No, don't no, no. Just, no, no. Because, like, I want to do, do, do an act out. Just say, all right, guys, great seeing you. Do that. All right, guys. Great seeing you. Uh, Take care, dude. Good to see you, man. Hey, man. Nice yeah, to see nice you, see bro. You. Oh, dude, what is he? Is he? Guy, he's gay. Is he? No, but 100%. I, no, dude. He's got a wife. I know. He and has he, a kid, Dude, too. he watches football. Uh, well, not 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 intently. <laughs> not for the he same reasons you do. You think so? <laughs> not for the same reasons. 
<laughs> no, no. See, yeah. that that does happen where you have the question. Yeah, I get it's, that. It's just like... Te- <laughs> and it doesn't matter. God bless the kid. But this, here's the deal, man. I had one of these guys... You know what aggravates me more is a straight guy who later comes out and like, dude, I've been gay this whole time. It's like, nah, just tell me. Nobody cares if you're gay anymore. Yeah. Nobody cares. That's and not I'm, your journey, man. Yeah, I know. It's fine. But that's like, God damn it, dude. We could have done so much fun shit together. <laughs> you know what I mean? But here's the thing. When what? You're, what? That was a joke. Oh, oh. Relax. No, no. But what I'm saying is... <laughs> What I'm saying, it's like you're sitting there talking. I know three or four of these people in my life, and you're talking to them. And it's like, anyways, yeah. So that's crazy. I mean, that guy's just an asshole, dude. You, sh- and you uh, every once in a while, I'll be like, Are you sh- you're not gay, right? No, I told you, Robert. I'm not. You keep asking me. <laughs> you said that. You haven't said yeah, that. Yeah, hundred percent. No, buddy. hundred uh, percent. Oh, that's funny. Because it's like if you come out like ten years from now, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mad. Because you why'd you lie to me? I don't know. Would it be funny if you had a friend that was gay and they didn't talk like that and they were just like, oh, dude, dude if it was 19- look at that kid's hog. Dude, I'm gonna say, like, <laughs> that kid's bullshit. Uh, that's <laughs> like, that wait a minute. <laughs> that's, how I get, that's how I find out the truth. Oh. We go out and I'm like, dude, I'm going to suck that guy's dick so bad. <laughs> All right, you be the guy. What? You be, you be, the, Which you, guy? You be me and that we're at a bar. No, me, I'm, I'm, who's I'm gay? the gay guy. I'm the gay guy. Okay. Okay. You're the gay and guy. You're me and you just see the guy and you're like, dude. This is your plan. See if this works, right? Ready? My plan is to try to get you to yeah, say it. Yeah, okay. you're like you. You're like oh, I want. I'm just, uh, I want to suck that guy's dick. Right? Do I have to say that? So we're talking about football and stuff, right? Do I, wait, do yeah, I have to yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to say. All right, all right hold, so, on, hey, hold on. I'm so th- thanks, Paul. This is awesome. Yo, dude, I love you, this dude, you see that mic that? over there? What? Yeah. Did you oh, see, yeah dude, did you see the bulge in that kid? What? What did you see? <laughs> what? What? Did I say? I'm. Oh my god, you're so funny. <laughs> what? You're funny. <laughs> What's up? What's your, going on? Your face. I see it. What's wrong? Your face. You went, what? <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked at me. He, he, he went to it like it was real. <laughs> he went to it like it was real. <laughs> he went to it like it was real. You <laughs> said, wait, what? <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> you have such good acting. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, ready, ready. ready. Oh, f- all right. right, let's go. Right, dude, you see that guy, Mike? Yeah, dude, you see the bulge in his pants? Whoa, man, is that his phone? <laughs> oh my god, dude, what? he's hot. <laughs> is it hot? Is it like the AC? I can't do it. Just get to sucking his. <laughs> it's the iPhone 10. I in- can't do inches. it. Too. You gotta uh, do it. Uh, Just say I want to suck his. Do I like to pull it out? What? Don't <laughs> turn it to me. <laughs> you to be you. He, no, he's not asking you to actually do it. It's an act out. <laughs> what are you doing? You, you can't turn into me. I'm the gay. I'm the uh, guy who's not gay but talks gay. Oh, uh, I can't. Do right, it. We go do it again. Come on, action! You got this. Ready? <sighs> all right, all right, oh my God, the game was so fun. Thanks oh, for bringing God. him here, Paul. Look at, look at his. I love it. Did you Ooh. see his? Did you see Ooh. Mike? Big Mike. Oh, Big Mike. It's a nice oh, yeah. guy, Is right? That the producer, right? Yeah. Did oh, you yeah. see his bulge in his pants? No. Oh, dude, no. that kid's got a hog, dude. What? Yeah. I... <laughs> wow. <laughs> you guys just say, get to. I'm gonna suck his dick. <laughs> I'm gonna suck, I'm gonna suck his dick. Fucking yeah. <laughs> Listen, shh, I got something to say. <laughs> Maybe that would work. It'd be funny if it didn't. Do it again. Do it this way. Do it this way. Do yeah, dude, you, you want to suck that guy's Oh, God, you're a f- <laughs> I'm out of here. What the fuck? I thought I wanted to watch the game. What a f- piece of shit you are. I got to call my wife. Yeah. Listen, Margaret. Margaret, yeah, he's a fucking gay. What a fucking. I mean, he is a full blown ho- he has to suck his. Oh, he wanted to suck shit. his producer's <laughs> at a bar. No, I left. F- him, that fucking sissy bitch. Oh shit! All right, I'm coming home. All right, well let's play Clue and then maybe knit and have some pot pie. Yo. I'll be home soon. Yo, I can't, man. <laughs> oh shit! Dude, All right, well there's my bone. Oh, mm. oh my god, that might have been the hardest I ever left in a long time. All right, well, there you go. (laughs) All right, guys, before we continue with the show, we got to shout out our sponsor. It is Factor, everybody. You've got stuff to do. You don't want to spend your whole day figuring out what to eat, going to the grocery store, waiting in long lines, cooking and doing dishes. Let Factor handle that for you. Their ready-to-eat meal delivery sends chef-prepared, dietitian approved meals straight to your door. All you have to do is heat them up in the microwave for two minutes, and you've got yourself an awesome meal. 
Guys, my family, we have a lot of stuff to do. We got two kids. They have games. They have practices. Everybody comes home at different times. They're hungry. We pop in a factor, and uh, it's amazing. Two minutes, and you have a gourmet prepared meal. It's restaurant quality. Uh, I actually just had their... Um, it was butter chicken, and it completely blew me away. In addition to their ready-to-eat meals, they also have cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie sides, and more. Whatever you need out of your nutrition routine, Factor has you covered. All you have to do is head to factormeals.com slash bone50 and use our code bone50. You will get 50% off, guys. 50% off. That's code bone50 at factormeals.com slash bone50 to get 50% off. Let's get back to the show. All right, well, now we oh. have to get to one of our favorite parts of the show, hopefully one of your favorite parts of the show. It is... <laughs> Fan bones. Fan bones. Fan bones. <laughs> and uh, and this is the part where you, the fans, we've got thousands of entries. We get thousands of emails, and you can send in a video bone. Just take your phone. You see. What you said? What you said? What you What are you coming? <laughs> it's so good. Oh, all right, I'm done. <laughs> oh, Bobby, I gotta hug you after that one. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, thank you. So, uh, fan bones, let's go. So, here we go. So, this is it. <sighs> you have fan bones, please send them in. Video bones, fan bones, uh, written bones, whatever. Just send them <sighs> in to uh, bone to pickcast at gmail.com or join our Patreon. You know, you guys that are a member of the Patreon right now, you guys are helping us build this. We got a new studio, we got new chairs, we're, we're putting new hats. All new hats. New hats. Go to comicrealables.com, use boner. If you use Boner, you get 20% off this hat. So go get the and new they're nice. They're snapbacks. Hat. They're quality. And they're somebody, not just cheap hats. No, they're, they're, they're actually nice really hats. nice hats. Somebody said, what about a hat with a, a lot of people, actually? What about a hat with Brenda on it? Oh, that's a good one. That would be good. Maybe a yeah. Brenda hoodie? Oof. Yeah, we do have a cup. Brenda hoodie? There was a cup that was made with Brenda, but I don't know. If we Anyways, yeah, we get a hoodie. We're getting all this stuff. <sighs> Comicwearables.com. Use code word Boner. But let's get to it. Yes. Fan bones. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. Uh, I, I normally don't like saying everyone's full names, but it's just a great name, and he's from London. This is George Grimwood. From the UK. George. He's a great name. Uh, George he, is great. Grimwood. He has a wishbone he wants to get off Ooh. his chest. He's got a wishboner. Wishbone. Uh, his, where's, my, where's my Altoids? I have some over here if you would like some. I had a whole thing. I got them right here, Mikey. All right. Fair Thanks, enough. buddy. Same ones. <sighs> Twinsies. Twinsies. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Twin, <laughs> Twin hogs. Al Torres, brother. <laughs> uh, George has a bone, a wishbone to pick with people who try international cuisine when they're in that place of origin. So Italian food in Italy, French food in France, um, that don't keep an open mind. So people that shit on food just because it's not what they're used to doing or they might have had a bad experience because they don't understand the cuisine. So when you go yeah. somewhere to have somebody else's food and you're like, this is not what I'm used to. Right. Well, that's what happens in Italy. Yeah. Because American Italian food at a pizzeria or something, is, and then you go there, their pizza's completely different, their pasta dishes taste different, and people go, this is not what I expected. It's like, yeah, I know, we f***ed up. I mean, we made some of it really good, but like, it, it's its own thing there in Italy. A lot of people complain about we it. We made nothing good from Italy here. Um, no, but the Italian, real on... Italians here that make their own pasta, that's... Okay, but the, that's yeah. not here. That's there here. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But hey, listen... This guy's from the UK? This is George from the UK. I mean, their food stinks. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> said, I don't know, man. Oh, dude, Indian. 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 They Indian. got great Indian yeah, food. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. That's, great, not, that's India. But they got great uh, but That's India. That's like going to Japan nah, nah, and going nah, nah, like... Nah, nah. That's f***ing the Muslims that moved there. Everything they got... They, Are you saying British, British food? British? What is... Not food in Britain, but I, British food. I'm going to give them this, but I've never had it. I've never had it, but I'm going to give it to them. Because it looks good. Steak Wellington. Beef, Beef Wellington. Wellington is incredible. I've never had it. It's on my wish list this year. Yeah. I'm going to give them Beef Wellington. I'll give them beef. I was there not long ago. I'll give them beef. Some of the steakhouses are good, and their real dishes are Indian because of how many people are there, how many Indian yeah, people are there. it's not their food. And I went to an authentic. No, I know. But I went to an authentic. If you go to London, go to the authentic Indian places because they're incredible, and a steakhouse. Other than that, buddy, I went to France right after, and it was like... <laughs> Dude, it was. Day. No, it was like anything I put in my mouth tasted so much Fish better than. Fish and chips, though? 
What? Fish and chips. I had you know a real what? fish and Shepherd's chips. Shepherd's pie. You know what? Yorkshire pudding. Shepherd's Come pie, on. Irish. She, well, I mean, I guess it's... I Yorkshire was thinking pudding, UK. Yorkshire pudding, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yorkshire pudding, yeah. they have a Yorkshire Can pudding burrito. Can I say burrito. something about fish? No, no, no. no Ooh, that's, oh, a, that's, a uh, that's two worlds mixing, dude. I but had, it's all British <clears throat> ingredients. When so. I was in London, we had what they call proper fish and chips, mm -hmm. which is literally like the fish head, and it's in batter. It was good, dude. It's that's a not, lot of grease. You, got, you don't want proper fish and chips. You want fish and chips. Yeah, like, I, well, fish and you chips. You don't want the head. What are you? In Japanese? Yeah, dude, I can't see a fucking eyeball uh, in batter with fries. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's just looking at you like this. Yo, what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> but look at that. We're looking at another great classic British food here. It's what's the closest that? I can get in. What is that called? Can you see it? F A G. Oh, <laughs> no, it, it said that. I didn't. I'm not. Not. What? <laughs> Mike That's why I pointed that. to it. Okay. Bleep what? What are you talking about? It would be funny about? if it was just a picture of <laughs> and <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Mike, you're going to be bleeping a lot this <laughs> show. Yeah, the bleep is heavy. Uh, uh, look, I understand what he's saying, though. It's like if you go into another country, keep your mind open. Yeah. All right, so I went to England. I didn't go, but I went to Europe. Different breakfast. They have beans. Yeah, They not... have salami and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, brajut. You know, you come to breakfast here, you're getting cereal, a bagel, some eggs, some bacon, a what? sauces. What was the second thing you said? Bagel. Bagel, yeah. Bagel. A bagel. Bagel. A bagel. Yeah. Um, so this guy. Yeah. I mean, he's got a good point, but also you're coming from a country that doesn't have that. You're, you're not known for your food. Right. You're not known. I know you guys. Listen, I know England destroyed the world. You owned everything. You were the motherfuckers for years. And I have full respect for English people. I love you. I love their, their, their cockiness and their smarts. But you're not known for your food, man. No. No. You're not known. So if some fat bitch from Idaho comes over to your place and she sits down to have breakfast and you got beans in it and some black blood sausage, she might go, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and you gotta take the hit. You gotta take the hit. Yeah, like I know that they say sushi in Japan compared to here in America is completely different, but I wouldn't try to compare it. I would be like, oh, it's much different, probably better there. Yeah. I mean, listen, Americans, we're, we're fucking, we leave this country, we're fucking idiots. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, do you know how to get to, oh, do you, do you have, what's a good place to eat? Oh, I, I, got, was, I got made fun of in Germany. I go, you guys have a booth? Like it was a diner and they just stared at me. Dude, I, w I was in <laughs> Guatemala and I'm like, I kept telling the guy I was with, I'm like, what are we having for lunch? What are we having for dinner? I was like, where can we go for dinner? He finally turned on. It's chicken, rice, beans, beef. All they got here. It's the same thing. There's no fancy Michelin star place. Yeah. It's Guatemala. It's a third world country. Chicken, rice, beans, beef. beef. Yep. And you're done. And Maybe goat. a sausage. Uh, so there you go. What else, Mikey? All right. We got a bone coming from Casey. She has a, a Christmas bone coming Ooh, in. Christmas bone. Uh, which is pretty fun. She uh, grew up in Connecticut, but lives in Alabama now. Grew up where? Connecticut. In, grew up in Connecticut, now in Alabama. Her bone is Santa's with Southern accents. <laughs> you mean racist Santa's? <laughs> There's no movie, TV show story where Santa is from the South. At least the Santa in the South can do is fake an accent while in character. Casey. Come on over here, kid. Yeah. Hey, get that colored kid. Step him aside. <laughs> Bring that little Jesus. redhead up here. Come on God. over here. He's first. Come on now. What's Santa going to get you? Casey, I love this. Hey, this where is you, what the show's about. Where are you from, little boy? Puerto Ooh. Rico. Well, you know what? I'm going to get you a job. How's that? Now get the fuck off Santa's lap. Get this one up. <laughs> get this one. All right. Get the one up here with the earring in her nose and got her tits cut off. Come on over here. What's your name? Jesus. He, she, he, they. All right. Well, now I'm going to get you. No, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you a dildo. Here, get the f off my lap. How you doing? <laughs> She's going to hell. She's, yeah, yeah. Jesus. My friend Jesus is going to meet you soon. <laughs> you know, this is about Jesus' birthday, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so you and your boyfriend over there. Hey, uh, come over here. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> Force of habit. <laughs> Muscle memory. Come on up. Come say hi to Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. No, she's right, though, dude. You can't have a Santa in a mall talking like that, no, dude. Because it's, you can't. Like, Look, I love the Southern accent. It's one of my favorites. But when you hear it. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. 
<laughs> yeah. Is it a Philly Santa? <laughs> 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 hey, how, how, How's the water? <laughs> yeah, what do you guys want for Christmas? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you dumbass. I, I'm not going to count. That's perfect. <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> stupid. Uh, <laughs> But I'm here, so my friends are at your house stealing your jewels. Hey, little boy, Rudolph's going to fly me over to your house tonight. <laughs> Is he? Uh -huh. Hang on one second. Santa's got, Santa's got to take a little ripple. Uh, hang on one second. Santa's dipping. <laughs> this guy, oh, yeah, Santa's hey, got to dip for sure. Get Santa his cup. <laughs> Do me a favor, little boy. Put your hand up. Merry Christmas. Come on now. Little boy, is your mommy single? Your daddy home? <laughs> Why don't you tell your mama to come sit on my lap? Hey, little boy, take a sip of this. I was going to get the pain away because that <laughs> that defect you got on your face. We got to hurry up and get out of this mall. Bama's playing not, tonight. Not every boy was born with all his fingers. But listen to me. Here's one for you. Get the f*** out of here. Jeez, I I'm going to throw up. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't say Merry Christmas. He goes, oh, roll tide. <laughs> roll tide. Hey, everybody. Nick Saban is my Jesus. Nick hey. Saban is my Jesus. All right, that's all for Santa. Why pride? I mean, shit. Merry Good Christmas. Night. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Uh, to each and every one of you, but not all of you. <laughs> to, to each and most every one of you. <laughs> Trump uh, 2024. No, oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Merry Christmas she's to right, all though. to most of you. Good no, but she's, she's right. No <laughs> yeah. no movie of Christmas have ever been. The Santa talks like ho, ho, like that. It has to be that. That oh. sounds like a great Hallmark movie ready oh, to be made. You know the, Southern Santa? Oh. Going back to my other bone, you know there's a Santa somewhere in San Francisco. <laughs> hey, kids. Ho, ho, ho. And jingle a ling <laughs> Get up here and uh, sit on my dingaling. Uh, <laughs> he's got a rainbow hat. Uh, Santa, are you gay? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, you want one from Andrew? Uh, Andrew has a bone to pick with unannounced visitors. People that turn up oh. on a Saturday afternoon out of the blue, and you're like you're supposed to drop everything and deal with them. No message, no call. They just turn up. It's rude. What do you do? There's an age limit on this, though. There's a hundred percent. Like if you're over. I would say 35, <laughs> and you have if you show up unannounced, you get to ignore the doorbell. And not even hide. Like, you can walk by the door, the window. Yeah, I see you in there, and ignore them. <laughs> and then they'll call you, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, dude, you just don't, you don't come up. I was busy. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you're a teen, like 20s, your friend can stop by. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, unannounced, unannounced, I wouldn't ignore them. I would just go, dude, I got something to do today. I'm sorry. Like... I yeah. wish you would have so told if, me. All right, so if I, I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna come over. You're, you're, you're. Okay. It's Monday. Monday. What time? Like afternoon? Three o'clock. All right, knock on the door. Let's say three. Okay, three. Because that's the time you ain't doing nothing. And I need to leave though by five. <laughs> but you're not doing nothing at three. But I gotta leave by five. Okay, fine. Because I gotta get down here for bone by seven. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Hey. Knock on the door. Ding dong. No knock. All right. Why? Uh, yeah. Who is it? Hey, it's me. What's up, dude? Oh, shit. What's going on, What's man? What's going on, brother? Oh, dude, I wish you told me you were coming. I would have loved to hang. I got to go somewhere. I'm in the neighborhood. I just stopped by to say hi real quick. Oh, okay. You want a drink? Come in. Sure. Come, come in. in. Nice, yeah. nice. You want some cookies? Look, I brought these bats. Nice. Cubans. Oh, I got, listen, I got 45. Hoyos. Oh, Hoyo? Hoyos. Number uh. four, five, twos. All right, let me cancel. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So fuck. That Bobby and Michael wait. My friend just came over with a Hoyo. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Yeah, you're talking to me. <laughs> it depends. Yeah. If your friend shows up with two uh, you, you Taiwanese, with <laughs> Taiwanese hookers and two Hoyos. Uh -huh. You got a bottle of bourbon and two what? Hoyo number twos? Yeah, if you're showing if you're showing up by yourself with nothing, beat it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was in, you know. Or I don't like when people you know it's not a good thing when the wife makes people wait and they come to you. What do you mean? Like the wife's doing something, so they need you to kill time. I don't like that. Don't come to me as like a as a filler. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh why are you here? Oh, my wife's in the neighborhood. I figured I'd ah. I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? They they kind of act like they want to see you, yeah. but it's because of her. Giannis. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think a lot of the comments people are understanding that you you you're you're admitting things when you say what. <laughs> Anytime someone he says something to you that you don't want to say is true, you go what? Well, here's the thing: everybody says everybody says the way Verzi says what on the show. You do it too. We both do what? We do what? But you do it. You you do it. When I 
Because you know Giannis lives two doors down from you, and you're like, when a guy just shows up, you mean Giannis? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nobody else lives near you. Oh, you're, yeah, Giannis. You're, you're an hour and a half from anybody. No, Giannis, Giannis comes in like Kramer. I'm not joking. I'll be down. Oh, oh, dude, I'll be downstairs. We'll get a knock. The door opens. His dog flies in. And then, oh, my God. Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Is that it? That's it. Guys. We got a video. Guys! Bomb. Video bone! Video bone! I'm, I'm just gonna say something. What? I'm gonna stop you right here. Why? I've noticed. What? In the last video bone chance. Yeah. You've been toning it down a notch. What? Maybe two DBs. What? DBs. That's the craziest thing to observe. Hey, go back and watch. I'm giving it full video bone. And you're giving a little like a DB or two down. I think, it, I think the difference is when we're here during the day, he tones it down. No, which but is I'm, which is Kind of. Also, yeah. the camera's here, so I'm doing I'll this get to try you. to look, and then that's you. why. But I'm not like it's L. three video. I'm bones. not holding back. You hold them back. No, I'm not. Go back and watch the other no. episodes and see if you can hear just a little. Maybe I'm I'm video bone. He's video bone. No. Vid, okay, let's do it right now. Ready? <laughs> yep. One, two, three. Video bone. Video bone. Video bone. That's the version. All right, I know. we got Matthew here. Oh, this Hey, what's up, guys? Love the podcast. This bone is a little different. Uh, so I'm a hearse driver for, for in the funeral industry here in the city. Oh, boy. And my bone is this. When people see a funeral procession back in the day, everybody would move over. Everybody would be respectful of the family. Nowadays, forget about it. It's cutting you off, even the hearse off. They flipping you off, all that stuff. Like, have a little bit of respect, all right? Everybody doesn't care until it's them. Everybody's got something to say until it's them. And then when it's them, they want to curse everybody out for not respecting it, too. Do yourself a favor and f respect any funeral home, any f funeral procession you fuck encounter. Come on. Like, think of it as if it was your own mother. Come on now, guys. Ugh. Love you guys. 100%. I love it. That's a 100% bone. Can I first say That's, something? Can I say this? Yeah. 100% bone. 100% bone. Not only that, love the kid's glasses, love the kid's tone, love everything about that kid. I love the kid. dead person in the back. Oh, I thought, oh dude, I there love was, how... I think there was a dead dude. <laughs> but I, I, there was a casket behind him. <laughs> hey, how about this dude? Not for not your bones, right? But when you... <laughs> When you're driving the dead body, focus on the road. He's got the blink. <laughs> click, click. Let me tell you something. Why? Nothing's going to happen. <laughs> he's got five. <fun. laughs> Nothing's going to happen to the guy. He's got a Miss O'Sullivan in the back. <laughs> he's he's like, let me tell you something. I love, how he, I love how he was like, think about it as your own mother. I love that. Dude, that guy was the best. But who the fuck? This is, this is the country we're in. This is the country we're in. And it's, I'm telling you right now. It's because of the loss of religion, yeah. the loss of the family unit. We don't give a shit anymore. We're just trying to get where the fuck we want to get to. We used to respect cops. Nobody gives a fuck about cops anymore. We used no. to respect firemen. Well, first of all, not nobody gives a fuck. Oh, you yeah. see an ambulance. We used to respect ambulance. I see ambulance coming now. People don't even get out of the road. Yeah. When I was a kid, an ambulance came. Everybody turned off. Fire truck. Everybody turned off. Yeah. Cop. Everybody. You pull over. Let them go. Now, I mean, uh, uh, dude, let me say this, too. I'm going to say this. Because you know I love doing devil's advocate. Yeah. When you see a hearse coming, yeah. I will do whatever it takes. I will run over a baby to get in front of you. Do you do the sign of the cross when you see it? What? <laughs> see, he just did a what? Do you do the sign of the cross when you see a hearse? No. What? Do you hold your breath when you when you pass a funeral home? No. Well, do you wait pick a your feet up when you go over railroad fucking tracks? You don't. You wait a minute. You don't pay your respects with the cross when you see somebody on a hearse. No, not all the time. When you go past a cemetery, then it's long. Why you are you ever... making me feel bad? I don't know them. They're not my people. That's a soul that is not lost. It's it was... not there. It's back where it died. You think the soul goes with the dead body? Probably for the ride. No, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why they take it to the neighborhoods it grew up in. You know what I think? No, I would. I'd want to see where they were rolling me. No. So when I see your hearse, I'm gonna give it a sign of the cross. But I'm well, not gonna. Get, I, I don't even know if they're Jewish. What? What if they're Jewish? You could still. The sign of the cross don't mean nothing to them. Right, uh, Mike? 
Well, the Jews don't have hearses. They just shoot them in their rockets into outer space. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm just saying. That's a great bone, dude. Devil's advocate that these bone, this bone, you know, when I see a funeral person, I'm like, oh, shit, get in front of it. But if I don't. No, see, I'm respect, opposite. I go, respect. I go as far to the side. But if I can get in front of it, I'm in front. I've never yeah. cut it off. I saw somebody. He said they cut off if the If you hearse. cut off a funeral hearse. He said they you cut off a hearse. If you cut off the hearse. No, he said he took it further. He said that he got flipped off. They cut him off and said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> they cut the hearse off with the body and gave the finger. You understand the fact that the funeral possession, all they have to do to... To let regular humans know that we're with this thing, turn your lights on. Can if I you s- have your if you have your headlights on, you have special treatment that day. And all of us out there, it's how know you're that. raised. It's not a law, right? It's not. It's just humans. Yeah. It's how you're raised, and I'm going as far as to say this: yeah. if you cut a hearse off and you flip it off, yeah. you don't care about the national anthem. <laughs> you think so? I, I mean, you, no, no. Am I right? I am. Yeah. Am I right? Do you yeah. think that there's some truth to what I just said? Yeah. Do you think that if you're the yes. type of person yeah, okay. yeah. that would do? Hold on, this is about respect. <laughs> Listen to me. If I'm, if you go past a hearse, flip them off, and cut them off, you understand kneeling for the anthem. That's. I'm going to take it that far. Maybe. All right. Is there something? Do you? You are 100 percent right. Right. I don't know how you are, but it is. But you are, Mike. Don't you get that feeling though? I, I, I mean, I think that there's a the the the, <laughs> the crossover is probably pretty high. Yeah. 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 How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> that person lived a life, and you're cutting yeah. off their 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 line. What if that person their grave killed uh, the children? Then there wouldn't be a procession. But why not? <laughs> what if that person was a bad person? Uh, you know, I don't know that driving. All so why I, are you doing this if you don't know who they are? Because I'll talk to God when I do it. <laughs> I say, God, if that was a if that was a good soul, may they rest in peace. I, dude, good. You know what? Maybe one of the funniest. I mean, that, that is good. Good What's one, that? dude. This is America the Beautiful by Ray Charles. Oh, nice. He doesn't like this version. I love this version. <laughs> you do? I play this version when my fireworks go off. No. Yeah. You do? Pop it in the sky to Ray. Wow. Yes. To Ray. Want to thank you guys so much for listening. Like we said at the beginning, please like and subscribe on um, YouTube. And keep those video bones coming in. We love them the bestest. Send those video bones and regular bones. You got a bone. We're going to help. We're going to listen to you. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to philosophize about it. We're going to let you know if you're right, if you're wrong. And we're going to solve these bones one bone at a time. So send them in to Gmail, bone to pick cast at gmail.com. Or if you want to support the show, join our Patreon. Yes. We got a lot of people that are joining. and It's helping the show out. Helping the studio, helping the show. And it's all because of you guys. We're about to uh, hit a milestone with that. Like we hit a milestone with our YouTube subscribers. So please spread the word. Join the Patreon. Go to the YouTube. Subscribe there. A few things you have to do if you love the show and you want to support it. It's only a, like a cup of coffee a month if you want to go to the Patreon. And if you can't, you don't have the money, that's cool. Go to the YouTube and just hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to us. Comment. And like, and you know what? Most of all, spread the word. That's right. And if you guys want to see us perform live, you can go to paulverzi.com for my dates next week, and I'll be at Uncle Vinny's for the first time, Point Pleasant. I've never been there. February uh, 24th, I'm shooting my next hour at the Den Theater. Tickets are going for that. For all other dates, go to paulverzi.com. RobertKellyLive.com. I'm in Chicago this week, Milwaukee. But you're probably going to hit me up on the uh, the uh, a couple weeks from now on the 26th and the 27th. Uh, at the um, Comedy Connection, Rhode Island, all sh- so sh- all shows sold out. So we just added nice. a Sunday show. So we got a Sunday. I made it six thirty in between the games. You can watch the first game. Come check me out. Make the end of the second game. Get some dinner. Six thirty Sunday Comedy Connection and Boston's coming up. All kind con- Poughkeepsie. All the stuff's coming up. RobertKellyLive.com. Mike. In myownhead.com. We'll see you next time on A Bone to Pick Podcast. Podcast.